Native natural habitats. They have long since been undervalued and underused and they continue to be so, despite their impeccable functions and benefits. But did you know that without this diversity of natural habitats, humanity would not exist? Functional habitats are part of ecosystems that are of great importance for local species. An ecosystem is a geographic area where plants, animals and other organisms as well as weather and landscape work together to form a bubble of life. There are two types of ecosystems, each with its own traits, aquatic ecosystems and terrestrial ecosystems. While a terrestrial ecosystem is a community of land-based organisms that interact in a certain area, an aquatic ecosystem exists only in water bodies such as lakes, rivers, oceans and streams. These aquatic ecosystems are generally divided in two types, the marine ecosystem and the freshwater ecosystem. The largest marine ecosystem on Earth covers over 70% of the Earth's surface. Oceans, estuaries, coral reefs and coastal ecosystems are the various kinds of marine ecosystems, while freshwater ecosystems cover less than 1% of the Earth. Who hasn't heard about the great coral reefs? Coral reefs are the world's second richest ecosystem and have a wide diversity of plants and animals. As a result, coral reefs often are referred to as the rainforest of the ocean. If you enjoy our videos, let us know by clicking the like button. Now, let's take a look at the terrestrial ecosystems. The five major terrestrial ecosystems are desert, forest, grassland, taiga and tundra. Desert ecosystems. The amount of rainfall is the primary determining factor of a desert ecosystem. Deserts receive less than 25 cm of rain per year and large fluctuations between day and night temperatures characterize this terrestrial ecosystem. The desert soil contains high mineral content with little organic matter, making it very difficult for plants to grow. Forest ecosystems About one-third of the Earth's land is covered in forests, where the primary plants are trees. This is why forest ecosystems are subdivided by the type of tree species they contain and the climatic conditions they experience. Taiga ecosystems Another type of forest ecosystem is the taiga, also known as Northern Coniferous Forest or Boreal Forest. It covers a large range of land stretching around the Northern Hemisphere and is less rich in biodiversity compared to other types of forests. These ecosystems are characterized by short growing seasons, cold temperatures and poor soil. Grassland ecosystems Temperate grasslands include prairies and steppes. They have seasonal changes, but don't get enough rainfall to support large forests. Savannas are tropical grasslands. They have seasonal precipitation differences, but temperatures remain constant. Grasslands around the world have been converted to farms, decreasing the amount of biodiversity in these areas. The preeminent animal in grassland ecosystems are grazers such as gazelle and antelope. Tundra Two types of tundra exist, arctic and alpine. The arctic tundra is located in the arctic circle, north of the boreal forests, while alpine tundras can be found on mountain tops. Both types experience cold temperatures throughout the year. Because the temperatures are so cold, only the top layer of soil in this terrestrial environment warms up during the summer. The rest of it remains frozen year-round, a condition known as permafrost. Tundras do not have trees, and most animals that live here migrate south or down the mountain for the winter. All over our planet, these ecosystems harbor thousands and thousands of species of plants, animals and other organisms that live in a perfect and delicate harmony. This arrangement allows the life on Earth to thrive in equilibrium, and this is why it's our duty to protect the biodiversity, so humanity can have a long and peaceful life in harmony with the nature that surrounds us. Do you enjoy these types of videos? Let us know in the comments!